When, well, when did you have sex for the first uh, time? I had uh, the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the fir the first With a human being. <laughs> How, how many years were you the mailman? I was a mailman. I, I, I lasted about five months. Five months? Yeah. Oh, no. And, and were, you any, were you any good at it or not? I moved to Chicago soon after I was a mail carrier. Mm -hmm. And probably a year later, I found undelivered mail under my seat. That's how bad <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's awful. Yeah, I know. It, it, was probably, it was probably somebody with a check that they needed to get. Yeah. They foreclosed on the house. But as a mailman, you, I'm sure, did the right thing. I did. I did do the right thing. What would you say that would have been? I would have, I would have deposited into an active mail receptacle to make sure they got their d delayed mail. Or the garbage. Well, no, that's... Well, no... You, you, you look sensational. Have oh, you been thanks. working on your, I mean, your upper chest? Just, just right there. That's I, it. I mean, it's really, it's buff. Thank it's, you. It's like, it's... Yeah, that's the sound I make when I do it. Really? Yeah. You do, should you, see me. And the flies, I go... Really? Mm-hmm. Do you do the upside down ones? What are they called? Um, I do the upside... They're called the upside down ones. The upside down ones? I go to the gym and right. I just... I'm, I make a lot of noise. I, right. Because I want people to see me lifting weights. That... Yeah! Uh, yeah! Do you ever see those guys that try to lift, like, a thousand pounds? Yes, why do they do that? I don't know. You're going to hurt yourself doing that. Things are popping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm there for. That's the only reason I go to the gym right. for things popping out. Uh-huh. There with my binoculars. Mm -hmm. Even although we're indoors and it's quite a small room, I still carry binoculars so people know I'm a pervert. It's fun. Yeah. Especially when they're wearing spandex, you just see it go, Beep! What's your b best beauty tip? Pluck. <laughs> no questions. Pluck. Don't ask. I won't. You know, I'm, I'm now not on the uh, the office anymore. By the way, how is that going? You don't know yet how it's going, do you? I don't. Well, I know James Spader is coming in, right. and I think that's a great move. I think he's mm -hmm. going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so, And I've been in touch with cast members, and they're excited about going But you're back. still in the rhythm of you might go back at the end of your break, but you haven't I, gone back yet. Yeah, you, you sort of feel like, wow, everybody else is going back to school, yeah. and I've graduated, yeah. and it, it feels, it's a little bit odd, because I know everybody, you know, I'm going to miss my friends. That's, right. that's the main thing. But weren't you tired of carrying? that dog yeah you know what now that you say that <laughs> screw that show what did that show exactly. ever do for me that's right what was going on in your head I wanted to look like Magnum PI <laughs> <laughs> I actually grew a mustache in high school because I played lacrosse and I thought it would make me look more threatening right. <laughs> And it didn't really. It just made me look like a porn star. <laughs> I don't know if other men have this same experience, but in, in, in a high place, in that kind of fear, my testicles fold into my body. <laughs> they really do. Like, <clears throat> standing on a ledge, it's like, ah! And <clears throat> um, this is called the joyless laughing guy. Joyless laughing guy. Yeah, I'll try to do it. I'll, I can do it sitting down. Okay. <laughs> you were really that hairy to be. Oh, I'm extremely hairy. I'm a hairy guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you're and you're hairy back and front. I have I I have more hair than skin. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a missing link. I am. I am on the on that evolutionary chart. I'm this guy. <laughs> There. Doctor, I'd like to talk to you about elongating my neck. <laughs> There's and a doctor in this town that would do it. I guarantee it. Yeah, they yeah. say, they some. would pause for a second and say, very well, I've done several of these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably not the first doctor you go to, but some, at some point some doctor's going to go, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're well. pretty expensive. <laughs> I think we can get that flesh from your heel. <laughs> Is we're gonna drill a hole in your heel, <laughs> and we'll extract a clerk of flesh, uh, and then we will insert. Oh, man. <laughs>
Uh, so anyway, back to back to the kids. So you and the kids and your wife, you're doing things this summer. Yeah, yeah. we're spending a lot, a lot of time, like more time than I've spent in a long time. Now, is it good? Is it satisfying? It's so boring. It's so, <laughs> it's I. You know, it's nice to relish that time with your children, yes. but your kids are infinitely less cute when you spend more time with them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bug called the greenie. I don't know if they're out here necessarily. But on the, the shore in Massachusetts, there are a lot of them. And they're kind of like mosquitoes, but they're kind of like really bastard mosquitoes. They're bastard mosquitoes. They're bastard, they're bastard bugs. Whereas a mosquito would kind of say, hmm, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm biting you. I'm biting you now. And you can, oh, no, I'm, okay, sorry about that. What was I thinking? A greenie, a greenie will like walk up to your skin or fly up and just go, hmm. <laughs> Ah, and it's, they are, you really, they're idiots too, because you just go, boom, and they're dead. They right, don't fly right, away. Right, they yeah. look at you like, ah, okay, kill me. But they, they will gnaw through your leg. They'll actually bite you through those chairs. Really? Yes. Wow. They will get underneath and bite you up through the chair. I have scars on my legs from Greenie. They're like, they are bugs that give you the finger while they are biting. Wow, that's a tough, that's a tough. That chart of uh, ape to man. Yeah, I'm about four down from man. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm the hunched over. When you're the guy with stone tools. <laughs> yeah, stone exactly. tools. Yeah, yeah, I'm this. <laughs> um, when you can see your body hair in your own shadow when yeah. you're not wearing a shirt. <laughs> this is the last season, and and yeah, right. No, and this is it. Yeah, but I understand your character. You're not going back. I'm not going back. No. Why no. not? I don't like those people. I see. I just, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> Boy or girl? Girl. Yeah. And what is that like to have a nine-year-old? She, um, I was explaining to her the other day about what television used to be. Mm. Um, and I, I said the televisions had knobs. Right. And she could not, she really didn't understand the concept of a knob. She didn't know. So you had to go to the television and click it, right. and there were probably four viable channels That's right. to, to go to. Yeah. What about the kids' channel? Mm, no, no, there were no kids' <laughs> channels. That's right. It's all about them now, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> it's all about me. What about the kids? What about Disney Channel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't have Disney Channel. No. You watch you watched cartoons on Saturday morning, and if you missed them, Too bad. you were out of yeah. luck. And then, then you would have to watch, really, what mom and dad wanted to watch. Right. Pretty much. Or you go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> and mom That's and exactly, dad... Exactly the way it was. Or you know what? Or mom and, uh, mom and dad have a nice cocktail. Mm -hmm. That's the way it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be funny to just stand in front of people and yell things with a German accent. <laughs> I think one of them was... Let's all pile into the minivan! And get some frozen yogurt. <laughs> it was a pleasure babysitting Kevin. <laughs> You're not getting older. You are getting better. I support whatever people want to do. I don't, you know, I, I don't. Well, except Nazis. <laughs> I don't no, like. I mean, in terms of what you're eating. Oh, I see. I, I, I like. I support everybody. I'm like, well, I don't support Nazis, Steve. Come on. You know what, though? If a Nazi wanted to be a vegan, fine. <laughs> you're a more tolerant than <laughs> I'd be like, no, you finish your sausages, Hitler. <laughs> I don't know. It might work out. <laughs> Over the years, I've learned there are certain things to get your wife for her birthday and certain things that you do not get. Well, this is wife. useful. For example, for example, jewelry is always good. Um, uh, a night out is always good. Mm -hmm. You know, some sort of clothing that she liked, that's always good. Yeah. I bought her a camera this year. Well, we I have little kids. That's nice. Sure. Good. Yeah, absolutely. Do not give her an inflatable exercise ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, do not give her a handwritten coupon for a back rub. I guess, yeah. um, any sort of facial cream mm -hmm. is just not a good idea. <laughs> My, 
My brother once gave my mom a mop for her birthday. Uh. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that went over. Here, Mom, like work a, a little harder exactly. with the mop. Exactly. And then when you're done quilting, get the kitchen floor. Uh, what on-screen co-star were you most nervous to kiss? The Rock. <laughs> I kissed him and Get Smart. And how was that? Pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> into sexual ambiguity now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>